Hi everyone, welcome to Happy Life, Happy Life, brought to you by Habitat for Humanity Singapore. My name is Celia, I'm from the comms team, and today I'll be bringing you along on a project homework session. But before we begin, you may be wondering, what is project homeworks? To the untrained eye, Singapore might look like an idyllic nation with no housing issues. However, a lot of social problems still exist behind the front doors of the homes which we serve. Many of the vulnerable individuals have little financial means and slash or social support, as well as mobility issues that make it difficult to care for themselves, let alone their homes. Driven by Habitat's belief that no human being should live in unsafe, unhygienic or undignified environments, Habitat for Humanity Singapore's Project Homeworks was launched in 2006. We partner social services to identify such vulnerable persons and families who need help to rehabilitate their homes into a safe and sanitary state. For Project Homeworks, we focus on cases which have pest infestation, hoarding or requires decluttering. We work with volunteers to make homes safer by decluttering items that pose a fire risk or could cause accidents like falls. Homes are also made cleaner by discarding expired food items and clearing pest infested furniture to improve the health and well-being of our vulnerable elderly and families. So more on today's homeowner. We are serving the Tan family, a family of five with one on the way. The family consists of three generations, mum and dad, followed by three children, two of which are school-going age, and the eldest daughter who has had one child and is currently pregnant with a second. Today we'll be helping the family to declutter their house, and that's why what we really need today are trash bags. And more trash bags. And more trash bags. Well, you get the point. <laughs> As you can see, the state of the house is not ideal. Sometimes, people get stuck and become paralysed in their current situation. When Habitat Singapore takes on a case, part of our process involves taking stock of the family's own resources and encouraging them to remember their strengths and to encourage the family to take action. We also help them to see with fresh eyes the safety and sanitation issues present in their current home environment. And so we began the decluttering process. What was most heartwarming was to see the whole family pitch in to make their home a better place to live in. Oftentimes, our presence is a catalyst that breaks stalemate and sparks action. This could be the start of a new beginning with changes in the family member's behaviour. Eventually, we want them to be able to maintain their home in a good state on their own without Habitat Singapore. But the journey is early yet and there are a lot of mental, emotional and family dynamics involved in upkeeping a home. Together with our social worker partner, we will keep working closely with the family to work through their issues and hopes for their home environment. All in all, we are so proud of the Tan family for taking the first step to transform their home into a safer and more sanitary place. The session took about 3 hours in total and at the end of it, we were all so tired. But the result was worth it. We managed to clear the mountains of items and to create walkable space for the family. When we asked them how they felt about their new home, they took a look at it and they said it looked so much brighter and they felt like they could finally breathe again. And this is the final product. So much more space than before. This is only the first session, so we have two more sessions to clear the rest of the house and hopefully at the end of it, the home will really be such a nice space to live in. But what really touched my heart was the love the family had for each other and how they all worked so hard towards a common goal which was to make their shared home safe and healthy. And look at the amount of trash we collected, all this in just three hours. Prior to the session, we will work with the social worker to get more bins from the town council. In this case, one bin was already full, so the town council gave us permission to pile the things onto the existing trash in the trash bin. And this brings us to the end of our project homework session today. As you can see, a lot of work and resources are required to serve just one house. You can help us serve more homes by being our monthly giver. 
Click the link or scan the QR code to find out more. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye!